Hello, my name is Nguiza Mkandla. Well, my name is uh, Shingi Mnyeza. My name is Anderson Moyo. My name is Harry Baker. Wonderful time, Faith Ministries. This is a great, great time for us. This is 40 years celebration. 40 years since we first started Faith Ministries. 1976, now it's 2016. The number 40 is very significant because throughout the Bible, we see a lot of times where the number 40 comes into play. It was 40 days when Noah was in the, 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 the rain, it was raining and in the ark for 40 days and 40 nights. And then once the rain subsided, it was another 40 days before Noah opened the window and let the raven go out. And Moses was twice up the mountain with God for 40 days and 40 nights. Also many times in, in other parts of the Bible also, in the promised land, they were in there for 40 days. And then because they came back with a bad report, except Joshua and Caleb, they had to spend 40 years in the wilderness. Jesus also was 40 days, wasn't he, in the desert. So this number 40 is huge for us at Faith Ministries. It's a wonderful time to celebrate. And when they were, came out of the wilderness after 40 years, it was a new generation that was birthed. So once again, as the bishop would say, we're digging the wells once again, the wells of another 40 years, another generation, and it's going to be very wonderful. These early days at Faith Ministries in 1976, I didn't realize and envision that we would have what we have today. It's a wonderful display of how God's power can work in wonderful ways in Zimbabwe and in faith ministries. From generation, this generation, this man from Scotland that was a policeman in Rhodesia who became a believer in Jesus and started faith ministries in 1976 and then Bishop Mkandla and then Senior Pastor Munyeza. What a wonderful story this is. I'm proud to be part of Faith Ministries here in 2016. It's been a great journey. It's a great story. And the best days of Faith Ministries and Zimbabwe are still to come. And I believe that Faith Ministries, with all this wonderful talent of elders and apostolic team and everybody that we have at Faith Ministries, we're going to see Faith Ministries touch the nation in Jesus' name. And I know that you'll be a part. It's exciting times and I am so humbled and glad to be a part of the celebrations of 2016, 40 years, Faith Ministries. I say go, Faith Ministries, for another 40. Let me just say that uh, there's that particular burdens that uh, I'm carrying for Faith Ministries at this time as we go into our 40th anniversary. Uh, and as we look into the future, <clears throat> Uh, looking at the next uh, 40 years. Uh, I believe that it's important for the ministry to consider two statements that Jesus made. The first is in Matthew 22 where he's asked about uh, the greatest of all the commandments and he sums up the Ten Commandments by saying this, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. And then he says, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. That is the great command. If faith ministries is going to reach maturity, it is important that we consider seriously the great command. The second statement is in Matthew 28, which is popularly known as the Great Commission where Jesus talks about being given all authority in heaven and on earth. And he says to his disciples, Go ye therefore into the world and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And he says, Lo, I am with you to the very end. 1979, and now we have reached the 40th anniversary of Faith Ministries. What can I say? It's been a privilege to have been a part of that. It's been a privilege and a challenge to minister uh, within Faith Ministries um, for a quite a large chunk of that 40 years. What the future holds, we don't know. But looking back over the years, I've seen this thing grow from one congregation 
to two congregations and now to over 40 congregations. 40 seems to be a significant number in Scripture. It is a number of testing. Jesus was 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness. Uh, the Israelites were 40 years in the wilderness. And uh, other Bible characters had testings and trials which involved the number 40. But at the end of the trials and the testings, they came out better than they were when they went in. So for Faith Ministries, as we look back over 40 years of ministry, starting off with one man and a few congregants, now 40 congregations, we can say that I think we are in a better place now than we were 40 years ago. And that the trials and testings of ministry, um, personally as well as collectively, have produced the fruit that we see today. It has not been in vain, but may God bless us even more for the next 40 years. God bless you. This year we celebrate 40 years as faith ministries, uh, not only Zimbabwe, but internationally, because um, we in Sheffield feel like we were birthed from this home in Zimbabwe, and therefore we join in the celebration of the beginning of this wonderful ministry. So as we enter, as we prepare ourselves for the next 40 years, my message has to do with discipleship. Um, I think we need to be a lot, lot focused and a lot, lot intentional in building a ministry that is making disciples that are reproducing themselves. Uh, as we move into, into the next 40 years, what will hold believers together as faith ministries and propel us to a dispensation of solid growth and sustainability is discipleship. A discipleship that is focused on mission, a discipleship that is focused on character formation, a discipleship that is focused on fruitfulness, uh, hand in glove with faithfulness. Uh, it's, it's a season where I believe God wants to do great things through faith ministries and that we will be out there as an example of what followers of Christ should look like. And I believe that our vision on its own is a galvanizing point, as it were, and this vision is to reach people and turn them into fully devoted followers of Christ. And the only way we can achieve that is through being intentional with discipleship. And for that to happen, I believe you can watch, can make it happen yourself. There is nothing impossible with God. God can use anybody, anybody coming through the doors of faith ministries who's committed to become a follower of Jesus Christ. I believe God wants to use you. And that's my message. May the Lord richly bless you. And as we celebrate these 40 years, let's keep our eyes on Jesus. And also let's keep our hands reaching out for more disciples and more people. Now it is 40 years. And then we've been talking as a leadership of faith ministries, what is the next big thing that we must do to advance the kingdom of God? First and foremost, one of the things that we realize that the globe has come together, globalization, globality, and all sorts. What is really important is to bring people to discipleship because actually the call to advance the kingdom of God is to discipleship. So we have begun the journey on discipleship as a ministry. And we want to see that grow. We want people to be, uh, and we even changed um, our, our, our vision statement uh, uh, to, to address that issue of discipleship, that we want people to be followers of Jesus Christ. And so this is where we are. We want to see people as followers of Jesus Christ. Um, so that is one thing that we see the next 40 years becoming key. The next thing is that we need to be relevant to where things are going. The globalization means that we are now in a global village, which means some of the cultural issues are going to have to fall away and put the biblical culture at the center. It means that people must be driven by the Word of God and what the Word of God says. 
And, and so we need to pass this legacy on to the next generation. We need to pass this legacy on to those who are going to come after us and that they know that the centerpiece in all this is Christ and his word. This is the clarion call. And we want to see this kingdom uh, being preached to all the corners of this world. We want to see Jesus alone being preached. We don't want personality cults. We don't want to see anybody in the center. Only Christ and his body. And uh, we are the body of Christ. So this is what uh, my uh, desires are as we approach um, another 40 years and as we celebrate the past 40 years. And uh, it's good to belong to Faith Ministries. It's a wonderful family. So we want to thank God for having drawn us to this family. Amen.